what's up guys it's your girl leslie your favorite youtube lesbian <laughs> and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be trying out a foundation and concealer that gets raved about all the time but i haven't tried them that is until today so i do have those on now and i have some opinions as usual so if you guys would like to see which foundation and concealer I am testing out today, then just keep on watching. And if you're new here, hey, what's up? I'm Leslie. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yep, do it now. You're going to want to anyway, so just do it. Make sure you turn on the bell so you're notified when I upload, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And give the video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this review. All right, so one of the things that I bought out of my ColourPop little mini haul was the No Filter Foundation and the No Filter Concealer. Uh, the shade that I got in this is Medium 105. Of course, I bought this online, so let's see how the color matches, shall we? It claims to be a buildable matte finish and everyone seems to rave about this and the concealer. So we're going to try it out today. I'm going to put the foundation on first and then I usually do my concealer after I've done my eye makeup so we will come back to do that next. Let's hope this is a good match. So I'm going to pump, I don't know how much I need. Oh, it's got one of those little locking pumps so you just got to turn it. It's quite watery. It does look like it's going to be a good color though. I'm going to apply it with a brush on this side because that is normally how I apply my uh, concealer foundation. It mm, might be a little peachy for me, but let's see. going on easy. It's blending out quite nicely with the brush. So that was two pumps and I'm definitely going to need more because your girl is a full covered woman. I'm going to take two more pumps. Oh my gosh, it's so watery. Oh, be careful for my eyebrows. I never do my eyebrows first. Oh, that may have been too much for some tail. So yeah, my eyebrows were very upset with me today. They're like, what are you doing? I'm not used to having to be careful around them. Whoops, that's a little more than halfway, huh? Okay, I think we're safe right there. It looks quite dewy. So oh, maybe it's gonna dry down matte. I'm not sure. But right now, this is not the definition of matte for me. However, I do like the color. It does say it's buildable, so maybe we'll put on another layer once this side settles a bit. Grab my Real Techniques sponge and do the other side. Same thing, starting with two pumps. I am expecting the sponge to shear it out some because it does absorb some of product, as you know. It's going on less dewy, but also less pigmented. Huh. I think my brush is going to be the winner, but I won't make any snap judgments yet, shall we? But I won't make any snap judgments yet. I 
know I look super busted right now, but I have been dealing with a migraine and this is day three and I'm exhausted from it. Yeah, it's more matte here and more dewy here, but less coverage. All right, let's do one more layer on each side, shall we? Do one more pump. Ooh, I hate getting foundation on my lips. on this side with the brush. I may actually like putting this on with the sponge, shockingly, because it's just too dewy on this side for my liking. I have combination skin that gets super oily throughout the day, so dewy foundations are not my stilo. And of course, we're going to be doing wear tests and picture tests and all the above. It's a beautiful coverage. I'm just not feeling that tired. I have to. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Just that one spot. I'm right there. Okay, so two, this is two layers. I'm gonna go ahead and set this as I usually would with my Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder in light medium. I take it on a big puff. If you guys are thinking that this puff looks familiar, you are correct. This is the puff that came with the Patrick Star Setting Powder Holiday Edition. See? Mm -hmm. But it works really well with my Fit Me Powder. It has... Wow, it's set really pretty. I'm liking the finish of this so far. Maybe I don't hate the side so much once it's set. Still could use some more coverage right here. So you can see that. Okay, let me go ahead and finish my face and we will come back and do the concealer. All right, so now that I have my eyes done, it is time to try out the no filter concealer. Um, I got this in a light 16 but that's a little too light, I'm thinking. So what I'm gonna do is use the Kylie one that I used to color correct because it is a bit darker and this is in cedar. I'm gonna use this first and then use the ColourPop one over it. And again, I'm gonna do this side with a brush and this side with a sponge. I love the Kylie one as a color corrector. I mean, it's a great concealer too, but this uh, darkness that I live with, that I can't ever really conceal, it helps a lot. See the difference? You're gonna see the bag. I can't, I can't help that. <laughs> okay, so let's give this bitch a try. Everybody seems to love this, so. Oh good, it's got the same kind of applicator as the Kylie one. I like these flat ones. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna start like that. I don't know how quick this is going to dry. 
Man, that's uh, definitely brightening, isn't it? some of my inner corner highlight back. And normally I take my sponge and just press it in. This is how I do my concealer every day. That's bright. <laughs> However, it's not quite as mattifying as I would like. I'm going to set this with my Ben Nye Banana Powder, just as I would. That should also help out the color of smidge. Now, I never go into concealers with the expectation of, oh, it's not going to crease because any place your face moves, it's going to crease. It's life. All right, let's try with the sponge. I need as much as I put on the other side, especially with layering them both. Okay, so that is what we're looking like with the sponge. powder, same way. Eyeliner. What side do you guys think looks better? This side or this side? Although it went on a little dewier, it's definitely dried down to super matte. The foundation, I can tell you, has already started to crack here, but I'm not going to take points away for that because, again, that's a spot that moves and it's a dry spot, so it is what it is. I'm going to conceal the high points of my face, as I always do. Now this I generally do with the sponge anyway. This is a large area to cover. That really blends in nice. I don't use a lot of powder. All right. Let's bring some color back to this face. I finish her up and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, here is the finished look. I will say that all of my powder products went on beautifully over this foundation and concealer. 
So I'm gonna go about my day. I'm gonna wear this all day. I'll be doing check-ins with you guys and we will see how it holds up. First impressions, foundation, I'm gonna give it a nine. Concealer, I'm gonna give it mm, a six for now. But that might change as the day goes on. So I will see you guys later. All right, so it's been about five hours. I took a nap. And I feel really good after my nap. I love a good nap. So let's take a look, shall we? Okay, this is the side I was sleeping on, so yeah, I can't blame that too much. But let's look at this side. So my skin's a little oily, but it's actually not as bad as it usually is, surprisingly. Creasing, but you know, I told you guys like, I don't expect a concealer not to crease because your face moves. Mm. Same thing around the nose. But to be honest with you, I'm impressed especially with the foundation, like, okay. Maybe I understand what you guys see with this. Oh, with the baggage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will do another check-in before bedtime, or should I say after it gets dark, <laughs> and take some pictures and I'll be back. Five, four, three, two, I let one go. I don't bluff, bro. Name 